Alright, hi everybody, my name is Dana Scheider and I'm here to talk about InView, a new project that I've been working on. InView is an, a web application that uses facial recognition technology to keep women and LGBTQ plus safe from abuse on online dating platforms. InView is a volunteer project and in this presentation I'd like to go into a little bit how you can help us out with our work keeping women and LGBTQ plus safe from abuse online. So here's the use case. Most of us women and LGBTQ plus folks who have been on online dating platforms ranging from Tinder to OkCupid to FetLife have experienced some kind of abusive behavior. You know, we will put, we will tell someone we're not interested and they'll call us a C word it can escalate further if you don't see the red flags and you know get and it can escalate into physical assault or even ongoing abuse so it's a really serious problem it's something that most women and lgbtq plus who have been on online dating platforms for any amount of time have experienced so what's the problem here there are a couple issues that come into play first of all Online dating platforms, for good reason, afford a certain amount of anonymity. Most of us don't share our last names or any kind of personal information on these platforms, um, partly to avoid the kind of abuse that InView is um, trying to help protect people from, partly just because we don't want to put all that out there for strangers to see. So um, the issue is that that anonymity affords abusers a considerable amount of protection and these individuals are able to operate on these on online platforms with near impunity so our goal is to change that um, and what better way to do that than facial recognition technology so didn't mean to change that right yet um, so how does it work the idea is once the platform is launched, users will be able to log in using the Signal protocol and any user who's logged in and has a, has a key assigned is able to upload a report about any individual who's treated them in this way on an online dating platform. They're able to upload any information about the incident that they have, screenshots of texts, corroborating information, the description of the incident, um, and any information that they have about the person, such as their, we won't have contact information or anything like that, but if people know the person's full name, if they know, if they have a picture of them, etc. cetera. Um, of course, the best way to uniquely identify a person is by what they look like, assuming they don't have an identical twin, which would be an unfortunate situation for the twin. Um, so, but you know, if you have an abusive twin, you know, um, so, um, that's maybe a little sketchy in and of itself, so you got to watch yourself. But um, anyway, so the, so the idea here is that once a report is made with, with some kind of uniquely identifying information, other users can then search the site for that, for that report using nothing but an image. So that means that if you know nothing about a person except what they look like, you can still find out whether abusive behavior has been reported. So, how do you get involved? Um, as an engineer, a simple way to get involved is by volunteering for the project. Um, we use Ruby 2.5, Rails 5.2, and Postgres for the main API, React, JS, front end, um, our um, login and sign up app is available on mobile only, uses the signal protocol, and is programmed with React Native. Um, as far as workflow tools, Git, GitHub, Slack, and Trello. Um, and then additionally, we're looking at options for the facial recognition technology. Initially, for reasons of user privacy, we don't we don't want to stick with this, but we're going to probably be using the Google Cloud APIs initially. Um, in general, we want to avoid integrating with outside services just because of the way that they share data. So um, once we are able to in-house that, we'll probably be using a Python microservice to handle the facial recognition aspect. Um, 
current technical priorities, um, the thing that we're working on the most now, we finally finished our big architecture meetings and things like that that we have to do to get the development started. So the first things that we're going to be working on are the secure sign-in app that uses Signal. Um, one of the key challenges here is that we're trying to balance storing user data with um, with user privacy. One thing that's a concern to us is if an abuser tries to sue a victim for for publishing a report on the site, we want to make sure that we don't have information that could be obtained through subpoena to support that suit. So making sure that we don't have you, our users' full names, making sure that we don't have uniquely identifying contact information for them is a priority. For the real API, we, the real API is a more basic situation. It just stores and retrieves the reports. You have to log in to make the report, but anyone can search the site. Um, it queries the facial recognition service, whatever that is, to match the photos. Um, so here are some frequently asked questions. Um, the first one being, is the project open source? The answer is no. Projects like this, you know, any kind of feminist or social justice oriented projects are going to be targeted for abuse by game, Gamergate types. And so for that reason, we've, de um, we've decided to keep our code base closed. That being said, we do welcome community contributors, so encourage you to approach me or, um, or we have a form that you can fill out on our site to get more information. Um, but you do need to set that up individually so that we can give you access. Um, what's the status of development? So at this point, we're, we wrapped up our discussions about the main architecture of the, um, of the applications. And we're moving on to active development. We've been working on the login service, and we will soon be starting on the main API. Um, who's involved? Uh, I'm Dana Scheider, like I said, I'm the project and technical lead for InView, and CG Acharja is our um, security and architecture lead. So we also have several other engineers who are contributing as they're able, and that's really great. Um, so how can you get involved? As I mentioned, volunteering is a great option if you're an engineer or a designer or a product person. Um, any, anybody who's been involved in a technical organization before, because of the nature of our, um, of our architecture, we do run a little bit more like a traditional company than a lot of like open source projects would. And so um, if you have any kind of a role in a technical organization, we probably could use your help. Um, another thing that we need is help with financing. InView is currently financed through Patreon, and this past month we were able to get enough funding through Patreon to get ourselves a memorable domain name and some business cards so that we're able to um, promote the project more effectively, and so that's deeply appreciated if you're able to. However, even if you're not able to actually contribute financially right now, um, you can still become a patron on Patreon, and that raises our profile on the site so that we turn up higher in other, in other search results on the site and make it easier for people who might be interested in contributing to find the project. Uh, let's see, what else? You can follow us on social media. We have accounts on Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, and LinkedIn, as well as a YouTube channel. Um, I highly encourage you to follow our YouTube channel because we need 100 subscribers before we're able to get a memorable channel name. So that's a, that's a goal for us. Um, and then once you're on our social media, please share our stuff, let people know about the project. We're going to rely on word of mouth a lot for not only attracting contributors and uh, attracting donations, but also for um, attracting users once the project launches. So thank you so much for listening. Um, your support enables us to keep women and LGBTQ plus safe online. I really appreciate everyone being here and listening to my presentation. Um, and here is the info about all of our social media accounts if you're interested. And I think that that should be big enough for everyone to see. So that is InView. Thank you for watching.